A new report shows the cost of food in San Diego went down slightly over the past couple months, but not enough for many Americans. It is still making it tough for San Diegans to afford meals and for food banks to meet demand. ABC 10 News reporter Moses Small visited the San Diego Food Bank to learn more. New numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics show that grocery prices in San Diego County actually went down almost a percent in between February and March, but prices are still close to record highs. That puts pressure on San Diegans like Agrippina, who got laid off from her job just months after having her six-month-old daughter. I went on maternity, came back two days, and then I was laid off. It was a lot of sleepless nights wondering how am I going to do it with like feeding her and you know providing for her. So she turns to the San Diego Food Bank to make ends meet. It's amazing. I mean even the help they give like as well as giving me diapers for her that, that's a, a, an amazing help to know that I'm going to have some type of food source for her is great. She's not alone. The San Diego Food Bank says demand has stayed high since grocery prices surged during the pandemic. I can tell you that here at the San Diego Food Bank, before COVID, we were spending about a million dollars a year on purchasing food. We're now buying between eight to $10 million worth of food a year. This comes as pandemic allotments for the CalFresh program ended last month, slamming the thousands of people who already struggled to buy enough food. We're going to start planning for more and more families to potentially come to food pantries throughout the county because they don't have that extra money that they had in their CalFresh benefits anymore. But if it means that more people are going to be relying on the San Diego Food Bank to support them, then we're going to figure it out. Moses Small, ABC 10 News.